And lawmakers all across the aisle are offering their support now to Pennsylvania Democratic Senator John Fetterman. The Democrat checked himself into the hospital to receive treatment for depression yesterday. Jasmine Payute joins us now in the studio with more on this story, more on how he's doing. Good morning, Jasmine. Good morning, Natasha. A lot of people talking about this. This incident is putting Fetterman's health back in the spotlight. His office says he experienced depression off and on throughout his life, and it only became severe in recent weeks. So here's what's happening. Wednesday night, John Fetterman checked himself into Walter Reed National Military Medical Center after being evaluated by doctors on Capitol Hill. He's been in office for less than two months now. You may remember back in May, the former Pennsylvania lieutenant governor suffered a stroke, which forced him to take time off from campaigning. And just last week, Fetterman was hospitalized after suffering from lightheadedness. Doctors cleared him after two days. The American Stroke Association says post-stroke depression is common, affecting approximately a third of stroke survivors. Folks who have experienced a stroke or a serious medical condition, uh, depression is actually pretty common. A feeling of overwhelm or, or not sure what might happen or even thinking about death or loss is something that happens for lots of people. And when you talk about someone like, you know, uh, Senator Fetterman, who's now also in the public eye, I can imagine that that might be even more significant for him. Fetterman's wife put out this tweet saying it is a difficult time for their family, so please respect their privacy. For us, our kids come first, she said. She said, take care of yourselves. Hold your loved ones close. You are not alone, she said in that tweet. Now, in addition to that, the Fetterman campaign also said that he will soon be back to himself in no time. We're hoping to get more updates throughout the day. But, Natasha, a lot of people wishing him well this morning. Yeah, absolutely. We certainly hope he's going to be doing okay soon. Thank you so much, Jasmine, for that update on the senator.